Good morning, girls. How are you today? Enjoying your breakfast? Enjoying all those leafy greens? I'm Precious and I thought we could do something fun today. I want to take you on a bit of a nature walk and a bookish excursion. I have a bounteous bag of books I'd like to donate. Uh, there are a few little free libraries in the neighborhood so we I thought we could unhaul them together. Um, so let's head out shall we?
version and I did find a few books that had my name on it that I had to bring home with me and I'm going to share those with you. And when we came back, there was some bookish mail that I'll open with you all too. But first let's talk about the little free library books. So I found the Harlem Renaissance Reader edited by David Levering Lewis. I adore Nella Larson, Zora Neale Hurston, Langston Hughes, W.E.B. Du Bois, and I want to read more brilliant poets and authors from this time period. So I'm very excited to read this one. And then another one I found was The Summer Before the War by Helen Simonson. I really adore her writing. Her first book, Major Pettigrew's Last Stand, uh, is a really lovely tale about friendship uh, in the unlikeliest places and between the unlikeliest people. Um, and once I saw her name, I had to pick this one up. It is about, let's see, Agatha Kent has just risked her carefully built reputation by pushing for the appointment of a woman to replace the Latin master. When Beatrice Nash arrives with one trunk and several large crates of books, it is clear she is significantly more free thinking than anyone believes a Latin teacher should be. Mourning the death of her beloved father, Beatrice simply wants to be left alone much to the dismay of Agatha's nephew, Hugh Grange, a medical student on leave. But just as Beatrice comes alive to the beauty of the Sussex landscape and the colorful characters who populate Rye, the perfect summer is about to end. I think this is going to be really, really good. All right, now on to the book mail. I believe these are both from my mother-in-law, Carol. I told you she spoils me. Oh, Carol. Sorry about the noise. Let's see. The Door to Door Bookstore by Karsten Hen. Let's see. A small town German bookseller, Karl Kohlhoff, delivers his books to special customers in the evening hours after closing time, walking through the picturesque alleys of the city. These people are almost like friends to him, and he is their most important connection to the world. When Kohlhoff unexpectedly loses his job, it takes the power of books and a nine-year-old girl to make them all find the courage to rebuild their bonds with each other. Oh, this is going to be fabulous. Thank you, Carol. Oh. Let's see what the other one is. Oh, No Way of Telling by Emma Smith. I love this cover. And there's a beautiful map on the back. Let's see what this one's about. The day they were sent home early from school because of a threatening blizzard, Amy rode with other pupils in Miss Reese's van to where the road ended. But from there, she had to trudge by herself through the driving snowflakes to the Gwintfa, the gray stone cottage where she lived alone with her grandmother, Mrs. Bowen. Once home, Amy knew she was safe. With a well-stocked larder and plenty of oil for the lamps, her grandmother promised her they might even enjoy being snowed in. They liked each other's company and every night would sit one on each side of the fire, working at their patchwork quilt until it was time for a cup of tea and a game of patience or two-handed whist before bed. But on the day the snow began, they never played their game of cards. They were interrupted by a growl from Amy's dog, a tremendous slump at the door, and an intrusion of such violence as they had never in their lives met before. No way of telling. I'm intrigued. I might have to save this fun for winter because I'm a bit of a seasonal reader, 
but I'm intrigued by this. Oh goodness, thank you so much, Carol. Thank you, thank you. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for spending some of your time with me. I'll see you all next week. Thanks so much for watching. Take good care. Bye-bye.